Stampers, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and I am going to do a couple of videos here today for my Hostess Club members. I've added a new element to my Hostess Club. Um, I've been doing Hostess Clubs for years and what it is is my stampers come to my studio, they stamp three cards, place a minimal order, and they rotate the Hostess benefits. I've had a lot of requests for um, non-local stampers to be included into the, um, into the Hostess Club. So what I've done is I've created a way for everyone to participate, whether or not they're local to me here in Wisconsin or long distance in the United States. So what I do is I send out the cardstock and I, a list of the supplies that we make and um, send them an online code and they can participate that way. Um, I also felt it was important to give them a video of the cards that we've done here in class um, or in, in club so that they could um, actually see what the cards look like and um, participate that way. Also, it's a good reference point for my local um, stampers so that they could also um, refer back to the videos because I think we have a tendency to hoard our cards and not send them out because we don't want to forget the way it looked. Um, so this way, I felt like everyone could um, not only stamp their cards, but also um, send them out and spread a little cheer. So the first card that I'm going to demonstrate today is actually a card that we did um, on cruise, um, our, one of our make and takes on cruise, and I thought it was quite lovely. So it is using the new Touches of Texture stamp set. Um, love this set. Um, it's very, very pretty, very, um, I love it. I like it. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and get this started, and we will um, whip this card up real quick. I'm using four different um, card, uh, ink pads today. I am using Delightful Dijon. I am using Dapper Denim. I am using Emerald Envy and Early Espresso. I chose to um, stamp the image in Early Espresso because I thought, I want one, wanted to use the Morocco paper. And number two, um, didn't want it quite as, um, the lines to be quite as hard and distinct as, the, as a basic black. So I am going to go ahead and stamp my flower on here. I'm going to stamp the stems and I've kind of lined this up. You could certainly go ahead and use your stamp -a jig but sometimes you get lucky and make it look good. So, and we need a little B here. The B is right here. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside and allow it to dry. I have a little B here in the corner. And I'm just going to add, I have just uh, little strips of the designer paper. This is a great way to use up your scraps um, if you're working on another project. I know sometimes we have a tendency to be afraid to use our, our scraps. Or So this is the Delightful Dijon. I'm going to go ahead and ink the lacy looking one here several times. also want to splatter a little bit of pollen here across our, our image. And then it is a matter of just stamping in our flowers and um, the leaves. So this one I have found that I really don't think it's supposed to line up. Um, if I am incorrect, please let me know. Um, but I am going to use the dapper denim and I'm going to stamp off because it is a pretty strong ink and just go ahead and stamp over it and it looks quite nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the stems. And it's supposed to be a watercolor look, so if it doesn't perfectly line up, that is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now I want my B to be a little more vibrant, so I'm just gonna use my stamp pad. I'm gonna use the ink that's in the lid there and a blender pen and just kind of color in my little bee so that he looks a little bit brighter. Same thing with this bee. Scribble till it runs clear. All right, I am just gonna go ahead and use my snail. To, I like the snail, I also like green glue. The green glue is probably my favorite glue. And just simply because it 
Yes, there is a small learning curve, but I do like it because it really holds well. So, all right, so that is the base of our card. Um, we are gonna go ahead and add the another strip of the Moroccan designer series paper to the top. And I see it's just a smidge long, so I'm gonna turn it over and use the edge and just trim that off. I can be a little OCD about things like that, so. Um, I am going to go ahead and use dimensionals on each of the four corners. Everyone needs dimensionals because it really makes a big difference. The other trick that I can tell you too is sometimes it's kind of difficult to get those little um, paper backing. If you just poke it with your fingernail, mine is quite inky today, obviously. I've been stamping a lot this week and somehow managed to put my finger in an ink pad and I can't get it out. So. We're just going to go ahead and add that right there. We're going to use some of this thick baker's twine. Wrap it right around the front. You can either wrap it around both layers of both the chocolate and the vanilla, or you could just wrap it around the chocolate. It's entirely up to you or whenever you remember to do it, I guess is the other. Okay, so my card is gonna look just like that. Go ahead and right here, the background again, you could use dimensionals, I think, on this one as well. I'm gonna put this right about here. I want it offset just a smidge. Okay, now it's just a matter of adding my saying. I wanted to make this a thank you card. I can never have enough thank you cards because so many people do wonderful things for me and I need to send them thank you cards. So I'm gonna use the other stamp set called One Big Meaning. It is just a bunch of thank yous that are different fonts, different sizes. So this is actually a real fun stamp set. I like this a lot too. So I'm gonna add the a little thanks in the dapper denim. Okay, now I've got the little thanks stamped and I'm going to flag the ends. So you have a couple different ways to flag the ends of your um, paper. You can go ahead and just cut up the center here and then just angle one, two, and that makes a real nice, nice flag, fairly even. The other, my other favorite way to flag an end is to take our old banner punch. It is now a retired product, but um, I absolutely love it. If you come in the back side like this, you can flag it that way. So this is probably, this is what I usually use and um, I like it, but again, the scissors works quite nicely too, but just make sure you find the center, um, go up a certain amount and then flag each side from the ends. Okay, so then we're going to sponge the edges. Um, back when I first started, we had the old linen pads and they were nice to do direct to paper. Um, I have found with the new foam pads that I don't like the direct to paper. Um, with the foam pads for two reasons. One of them is you get a lot more ink on the stamp pads and so it kind of makes a little bit bigger of a mess. And number two, um, I have had some customers, um, when, we're, when we do a direct to paper with the foam pads, it seems like the paper actually gouges the stamp pad and um, it'll make little, um, little divots in your stamp pad. So I always recommend um, using a sponge nowadays. So just a little softer. A little more controlled, I guess, is probably the word I want. A sponge dauber will work as well, or one of these stamping sponges. You can see that I've cut mine in quarters. I, a lot of times, will take and put a little piece of cardstock on here so that I know that this is like the chocolate chip. I just didn't get around to doing that. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and I have a little schmooch down here on the bottom, so that is exactly where I'm going to put my just a smidge and we're gonna add a little thanks all right now we're just gonna go ahead and add a couple little pearls a lot of times I'll just take the tip of my scissors or the um, piercing tool and just go ahead ah! and add two little pearls right there have a little bit of control with this tip of the scissors and there you go that is our very first Hostess Club card for the month of June. Enjoy.